It is amazing to see what programs can be accomplished, what lives can be changed when you have a great leader at the helm. So please welcome her, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Jody Diamond. Jody? Welcome to our 30th annual Boys and Girls Night Out. It is so wonderful to be here with all of you, our incredible friends and supporters, to celebrate the tremendous difference you make in the lives of our youth. I hope you are all enjoying our Phantom of the Opera Gala. To my amazing team, you have outdone yourselves. Rhonda Guadarrama and Hannah Moss, who I know are running around here somewhere, you make this look effortless, and we are all thankful for your incredible work and attention to detail. Please, let's give all my team an enormous round of applause. They so deserve it. We are going on a journey tonight, much like the story of the Phantom, a journey of struggle, intrigue, secrets, masks, love, and redemption. Over the past year, we have embarked on a project to build our Center for Innovation. This has been a long and windy road which has seen several starts, stops, sideways turns, and sometimes somersaults. There has definitely been struggle. Anyone who has ever had to go through the permitting process understands that challenge. But has anyone had to move a telephone pole with a high voltage transformer on it? We have. Our year has been filled with intrigue and amazing highs. Some of these include our very own Julie Hernandez bringing home the California State Youth of the Year title. In 2017, California Youth of the Year is Julie Hernandez. Out of all the club kids in all of California, the judges determined that Julie most exemplified what a Youth of the Year should be. But we already knew that, didn't we? Yeah. Other highs included a Building Better Futures Award for our Youth Mentoring Program. This award was presented from the North County Gang Task Force by our county supervisors, Bill Horn and Kristen Gaspar. In addition, our unique and amazing program, Roads, Real Options for Adults with Disabilities, celebrated its five-year anniversary and is continuing to grow. We also held our second annual graduation celebration where we honored 30 graduates. This is what it's all about, seeing our members graduate on time with the plan for the future. Our youth membership continued to grow, and we finished last year impacting almost 4,000 members. Tonight, we celebrate our success made possible because of all of you. Not to say we haven't taken our lumps or had sorrows this past year. Like all things in life, the good has been mixed with the bad. This year, one of our members attempted suicide twice and we have seen an increase in our youth struggling with mental health issues like never before. A parent of two of our club members was deported, leaving the older youth to care for his younger sibling. Gangs continue to be a threat to our youth, our neighborhood, and our community. The challenges here at home and internationally weigh heavy on the hearts of all of us, including our youth. At the club, we do not throw up our hands and bemoan all that is wrong. With your help, we come together and say, what else can I do? How can we help? How do we reach those hardest to reach? How do we make sure our youth have the tools and resiliency to not only survive life's challenges, but to thrive in the face of them? This is the magic that happens at the club, and that is what we do here at the club. As we are tonight, we often wear different masks. The mask you put on to go to work. The mask you wear to meet with your child's teacher. The mask you wear when you have an argument with your spouse and have to walk into an event. Our youth wear them too, many of them. The mask they show when they struggle through their school day. 
the mask they need to deal with bullying, the mask they put on when they are suffering from depression, the mask they wear to forget a parent's incarceration, the mask of secrets they wear when someone who is supposed to love and take care of them is hurting them instead, the mask of adulthood worn way too early. And yet here at the club, our members can take off those masks. When our members are in the club, they can lower the masks, feel the love and support from staff and club friends, and be exactly who they are on the inside, free from judgment, free from criticism, free. We can openly share our school struggles and get the homework help we need. We can talk about bullying and figure out how to fix the problem. We can relay our dark feelings of depression and hopelessness and get connected to a community resource that is just right for us. We can share our fears and worries about having a deployed parent. We can be vulnerable and open up about the shame and anxiety about having an incarcerated mother or drug addicted father. We don't have to keep secrets no child should be asked to keep. Our Rhodes members can truly and freely be themselves and bask in the acceptance of everyone in the club. We are invested in providing opportunities for our members to learn, grow, try, fail, and try again. We welcome over 1,300 members into our clubs each day. This is why we're building our Center for Innovation, which held its groundbreaking ceremony last week. This 2,000 square foot addition will include a culinary arts teaching kitchen, stream lab, and a performing arts center. We must have the life-changing programs that will empower our youth to take off their masks and decide their future. The Center for Innovation will play a critical role in this community, providing the stepping stones to go on to higher education a certification program, or employment. Our members will have the skills to go out into this very big world and make all of us proud. Members like Julie, Ariana, Katrina, Melinda, Colin, Aubrey, Alberto, Jazzy, Caitlin. You and I can make this happen together. Tonight, I ask you to join us in making an investment in the future of our Oceanside's youth. Thank you.